Listening? Okay. <laughs> What's up, everybody, and good morning. Hello. It's a little early. Got, I'm on my second thing of coffee here. Just gonna take a sip here. <sighs> Delicious coffee. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sunday Land Grand Finals Championship. We are ready to go in warm front here between Mix Up and LG. It's me, Sea Bear, back for day two. Um, we lost DJC. I don't know where he is. We've plastered his image on the side of milk cartons and sent them out looking for him. But uh, he does live in Ohio, so he may have gotten murdered. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, taking his spot for now, and possibly all day, is everyone's favorite Eurocaster slash mediocre scout slash mediocre soldier slash great guy. It's Greg. What's up, Greg? Uh, not very much at all for me this afternoon, of course, because it's like I'm like six hours ahead of you or something like that. But yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to watching some good TF2 here in the grand final, repeat of the upper bracket final, and of course the the last lands grand final, uh, which was Quantic versus Mixup. Now LG versus Mixup. Yeah, um, we were talking about it before we went live about sort of what we wanted to see. I was like, you know, I'm all right with it just being one best of three. But last season it went. Went pretty long. Um, I think we hit the sort of the climax a little early. The games kind of got a little bad compared to what they were before. So hopefully, whatever we see, it's just good games from here on out. Um, also joining us, the very tired Canadian, but still the mad scientist of TF2. He got his uh, his title back today after he lost it yesterday with some odd off predictions. But he also is my favorite Canadian in the world. That is Sigma. What's up? Not too much. Just you know. Dragging myself out of bed once again to cast some more TF2. Should be some pretty good games, so I'm excited for that. But I made uh, probably a bad decision and decided to play like an hour of ulti duo like last night, pretty late, and then yeah, didn't sleep that long. But it's all right. Ulti duo is sick, so that's okay. He woke up, guys. He sounded. I could barely hear him. He was like, oh, "It's me, Sigma. I'm ready to cast." But he's pulled it together out of love for all of you and the game. That's why we love Sigma back, because he's the man. All right, so uh, before we get into uh, sort of the talking about the match stuff, I do want to make sure I don't forget about doing some of the propers that I definitely didn't do enough of yesterday. So I'll start. Um, Greg's going to say a couple things, too. Um, we still are going to do the Facebook uh, thing that we did yesterday, the thing that we did, um, where we have winners and kind of guess off of things that happened in the game. We don't have um, the stipulation ready for the match so far, but I'm pretty sure we will closer to going live. I, I've just been uh, PM'd by Tyrone saying, are the cast is ready, so we might be oh. going live very soon. Oh my god. Yeah, we are. Just tell them we are. We'll go. we got two minutes. Um, but let me finish up, so I'll, I'll get right to it then. Um, we are trying to send teams to the I-46 land in Britain so they can own Greg, amongst other things. Uh, so if you guys want to go to our website, uh, www.extelevision.com, on the right side of the screen there is a chip-in donation box. Send us money and we'll send nerds to England to meet shot people and it'll be great. 
We really want to see how the EU versus US thing, or NA, I should say, uh, works out. So there you go. Um, Greg, any words of encouragement for our possible donators? You've gone to I-40, whatever it was before. Is it worth the trip, Greg? Yeah, well, I-Series is just an absolutely amazing land. It's so much fun. You know, it's a couple of days longer than ESEA land, so you just get a few more days to chill out and have a laugh with everybody. Obviously, it's an absolutely brilliant TF2, and if American teams manage to get there, I'd love to see, you know, the NA versus EU uh, game style, like, clashes, because we play so much more, you know, defensively compared to how the American teams play at the moment, and it will be just so interesting. And there's always been, like, a debate between EU and NA, who's the best scene... And finally, if that happens, we'll be able to see, where, you know, who stands on top. Okay, so I do have the Facebook contest right here. And not only that, it's the big Facebook contest. I'll just read exactly what I have here. So, it's Grand Finals time, guys. Post who you think deserves to win here the most, Mixup or LG. Three winners will randomly be selected for hats. Two random lucky winners will get a Dota 2 invite where you can play with Seabear and play better than him because he is bad at Dota 2. That's my big seconds. pitchy voice. So yeah, do that guys. Um, if you, I'm not ex exactly sure what the Facebook thing is because DJC was handling that particular spot yesterday, but I believe it's uh, facebook.com slash EXTV. I don't know, maybe it's not. EX Television. Facebook.com forward oh. slash EX Television. All right, we'll go do that, win some hats and Dota keys and all that stuff. But, uh, all right, so boys, we, uh, I guess we're going to get right into it. I'm all right with that. No no real break before, after yesterday's kind of uh, delay fest, when we get right into it. Maybe we'll see the end of every game. Uh, crossing our fingers and knocking on wood. There's a wood desk. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> But here we are in Warmfront, Sigma. Um, I think we saw this map last year between these two teams in Grand Finals, or last season, I should say. How do you see this one playing out? I'm gonna go, well, hmm. LG has kind of convinced me with their play yesterday that they're probably going to win this match, but I think I recall last time these teams matched up in Grand Finals last season, I thought exactly the same thing, that Mixup made a furious comeback. So, kind of sticking with possibility for that. I think LG is going to take this map something middling like 5-2 or 5-3, something like that. And then uh, if Mixup finds the fire within themselves to give Plat even more than 400 damage per minute and carry them even harder to a victory, then they're going to make that comeback in the later maps. But for this one, I think LG is going to take it. You're breaking news, Greg! Apparently, ESEA, ESEA admins will manually change the maps today. I don't know how that, that exactly is going to happen. Maybe they'll type it in the little Archon thing and change it themselves, but that's good news. So if they yeah, screw it up, God then for that. we can actually put a face on someone who, who just still screwed it up somehow, even though they're manually doing it. But uh, yeah, uh, Greg, what do you think about this match, Warm Front, uh, the Grand Finals in general? What do you got? Uh, I think, in Grand Finals in general, I think LG should take it. But I actually think uh, this map is going to be really, really close. Like, thinking about it last, like, the last finals these two played against each other, I don't think they actually uh, pretty much timed out. It went to, like, 59 minutes out of the hour when someone capped to the fifth point. Um, so I think it's going to be a slow one here. No. And I think it's going to be 5-4 to four LG, possibly. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go for. Oh my god, look at the timing, because now it's my turn, and I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to go with Justin's prediction. Um, he says, probably LG, but Warmfront isn't their best map. In fact, this is the map that Mixup picked last year, and to quote, Justin dunked on LG. So, anything can happen. Depends on how Smack it plays. But I will go LG 5-3 to three here. And here we go, La Grand Finals. Mixup versus LG Redux. Round two here, we'll see uh, which team is able to pull it out this year. Remember, LG kind of choked last year. Got really close within one round of winning, and they couldn't pull it out. But here, we are at middle. Uh, we have red side is going to be LG Mixup on the blue pieces. And both teams playing warm front and middle. Like we saw yesterday, a lot of passivity. Clockwork's going to be the first to go down there, uh, I believe, on the point. Um, a lot of bombing going down. Tyrone's going to go down as well. Lansky as well. Looks like LG's getting the worst of this trade, though they are staying in. Banny's able to drop one, but Dave's going to go down. Banny's in a ton of trouble. So is Shade. Shade's going to get out, but Banny doesn't. Shade will be chased here by Smacka, amongst others. I don't know if he's going to get out here, Greg. He's on two. He's got the needles out. He doesn't have his, his super overpowered, awesome crossbow. Does have clockwork spawn. He'll be safe, but pretty good start here for Mixup, Greg. 
Indeed, and actually the oh. Enigma does get onto him in last, and wow, that is just what Mixup needed here. They're going to cap second and be able to push onto last. Um, as for that middle, Mixup played it so passively and just sat there waiting for the LG, you know, aggression, the bombers, and they just picked them off one by one. Like, it was not well coordinated at all by LG, and as such, Mixup just kept picking up players, and, you know, it was effectively a six man wipe at that middle. And uh, now the Shade's gone down, and the Uber is going to come in onto last, but Platt does go down. Banny picking him during that Uber. It's not a good play from KBK dropping it. As scouts are coming on, trying to do as much damage as possible. Smacker does pick up one, and Enigma grabs one. Scout onto the point, but it's going to get blocked out, and I think LG should hold onto the Seabear. Yeah, that big drop on Platinum, we saw, well, we probably bemoaned the point a little last night of how great he played. We do have some action on two. The Medic does get out KBK just quick enough to make it out of the door there. A little sloppy mid-fight uh, in the beginning there, Sigma, but a little sloppy push there for Mixup uh, kind of equalizes itself out in this round as uh, LG's trying to recap too. Yeah, they might get the point, but already their health is really low, so at this point they kind of just need to back up and get back to their last. Even if they had finished the cap there, uh, Mixup would have just been quick taking it and quick pushing. Indeed, we already have Smacka throwing big sticks down and killing wow. Tyrone, so that's a lot of trouble for LG. They need a huge clutch from Banny if they're going to save this round, but I don't think even the Jesus pipes can stop two soldiers and a demo. Oh my god! Point, although, okay. Oh, that was close, actually. <laughs> Uh, Paul sat down there and got two uh, two frags, but that was not quite enough. Um, they got stuck trying to push out. I'm not sure if they didn't make the decision quick enough or commit, but they definitely didn't get the cap going in time. And LG's down, makes up up one to nothing here uh, as we go to mid fight number two. Greg, who are you watching? I'm actually gonna watch uh, Platt as he comes out. I'm probably gonna watch him play like bait out like he's gonna go aggressive and then come back a bit more defensively again like the last time actually the LG scouts getting a buff like we saw in the last time they played this map as Platt's just playing defensive trying to take down Dave does take him down on the top right Banny gets one kill Tyrone comes in a nice bomb onto uh, uh, Enigma there and also gets Smacker down and Platt does get one more and he's the only one left alive as LG do clear up the rest of the frags with both scouts and Shade left alive Zebra. Big good sign for LG. Clockwork continuing to uh, beast, <laughs> basically. As I think he got three there. So um, if Clockwork's going to make those uh, extraordinary individual plays again, LG should be good here. Um, he did really well yesterday, continuing to play well so far today here. Uh, Sigma, that mid fight, a little passive out of mix up. Kind of looked like LG in the first round. Allowed Clockwork and Sizer to run around mid and just uh, do a ton of damage. Yeah, the big difference between that and the first mid was on the first mid, clock. I mean, both times Clockwork did his kind of delay from right thing that he's he was mm -hmm. using so frequently yesterday. But on the first mid, he ran into Dave's and got or the best blah, blah, moose, moose. Yeah, there you go. big moose, and got two shot immediately. But on this mid, he had plenty of time to just move in. So whether intentional or not for mix up, that was a good stop from then. Now we have this double scout Uber. Oh, oh my no! God, that's the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, well, there, he's only got one right now. Maybe one can get killed during this, but uh, no, they're both going to walk over Sticky. Smacka, so heady. Knew that the scout play was coming. They've done it so often when they have advantage and the other team doesn't have Uber. They just run the scouts in, and wow, look at that cleanup. Shade goes down at the very end, and they're going to be able to retake too easily there. And they have Uber, Greg. A huge swing in momentum. Smacka already uh, making up for, for maybe some bad play yesterday with a huge save. Yeah, that's and he's actually he does get forced by Clockwork, and... And mix up are going to push forward. I want to talk about that like last push that LG did very quickly. They did that so often yesterday, and I think they messed up at least three times pushing onto last mm -hmm. with a full Uber advantage. And Big Smacker has their back cap. Smacker jumps back. He's not going to get there in time. Who is that? Go He's going to go towards last, I assume, as I can't try and get there. Enigma is covering him, does take down Sizer on the back cap, and they will recap this. But yeah, Smacker, really good job on that defensive uh, last. Yeah, uh, the first back cap we've really seen in a while during this land. It's been mostly just when you get behind, you try to make a play on the other team's medic or something. Um, Paul elects to uh, back cap, and Dave AC did a great job of jumping in middle to stop it. So we're seeing a little sloppy play, but still back and forth, really close um, as, as points are winding down there. Really close back cap for Paul. But as we stand right now, Sigma, we are uh, LG sieging the second point now. So overall, uh, Sizer's back cap worked out, and now he's playing heavy. Yeah, are they going to pull out that uh, trick oh, God, that no. mix up into them? No, it's actually going to push forward instead of going and staying on that mid house. So they'll probably play after this Uber coming with the 450 heavy, as uh, Sigma was explaining to me yesterday. The Ubers are both triggered. 
trading frags in. Yeah, pretty even trade at the moment. Soldier bombs in. That was Tyrone. Didn't really do much. Now it's Banny and the Heavy coming in, raining damage down onto that Soldier of Platinum and KBK. Oh. KBK is only on 60 HP. Will just about escape with Plat, and that point is going to go to LG. And nice timing from Sizer getting in his Heavy. People say medics aren't tough, but man, KBK just sat there and took like 40 minigun shots. He's fine. He's like, nah, I'm German. This coat's bulletproof. He's just okay. Uh, okay, so now we're pushing last here, looking at the advantage. Um, pretty much even KBK is not going to try to push out, but uh, that heavy is a problem to deal with. We've seen um, when he comes in late in the middle of a fight, LG did it perfectly there, Sizer. Or <laughs> I called you Sizer Sigma. How about that for tired mistake number one? <laughs> Um, but uh, the heavy for Sizer here pushing last is going to be tough though. There is a sniper on blue. Yeah, we're actually mirroring each other. Both teams are running heavy sniper right now, interestingly enough. So LG is setting up for a more sieged last push after after their scouts got dropped on the Uber last time. They don't want to play scout anymore, so they're going to get yeah. on off classes. And we're just going to have a little bit of a sniper war before any kind of action starts to happen here. So I'm just watching Clockwork and Moose go at it. So you can land a headshot first. So far, nothing. I just like to point out that before people used to play this, and on, all teams would hold behind the point. So you would see the blue team just kind of huddled behind with their heavy. But thanks to Sigma's metagame uh, thoughts, they have held up closer now. And I think it's even made this point even harder to push. I mean, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. I should have thanks, never made that lot, post. Sigma. Sigma posted uh, uh, the, the key to really defending this point. As Enigma tries to get aggressive top left, Tyrone's able to shoddy him down, though. Enigma got some good damage done. Um, you see this close hold. Um, it's really hard to get out of the doors now, Sigma, so thanks a lot, buddy. Making it even harder, bud. Yeah, we have LG trying to move off this scout pick, but they get forced on the heavy through the door, and uh, KBK does pop pretty quickly in return, but Platt should be able to zone out their team pretty well with this, and Moose getting the first kill onto Dave there. Tyrone's kind of behind the point, but he's going to get cleaned up pretty quickly, although the Heavy m manages to move in and kill Platt, so this is really... Well, I was going to say anybody's fight, and then I looked at the health on LG, so I don't think they're going to have much more forward momentum here. Oh! Wow! Sizer gets domed at the very end of that, so rushing down, Moose respawns Sniper and uh, takes his head off his shoulders here. Shade is backed up with his team here. Push looked pretty good there, Greg, for a second when Sizer got in his heavy. Got a couple frags, but uh, then he ran into uh, Lansky also on heavy, and the Russian on Russian love didn't go quite as well, and LG had to back out. This point just really, really hard to push. Yeah, well, I think the main thing for that push was uh, Tyrone got in after during the Uber and managed to take down Smacker, and that's such a big, you know, pick when you're trying to get through all these choke points. The demo man down, but actually LG are going to come in here. KBK's on 95%. He has to run into spawn. He's going to get it now and does pop Ooh. it straight away. Good work from KBK. It means Clockwork's going to go down, and LG didn't get anything out of their Uber, and they're just going to lose so many players here. And we're going to see Mix Up just try and push straight into the second point. He's getting as much time as possible on it. Just Banny and Shade up. Banny doesn't have a trap up. He's trying to get away. Left click, right click. He's going to be able to scoot out. He's going to have to fight a scout here. He's already dropped Enigma. Moose doesn't want anything to do with Banny. Best scout killing demo we've ever seen. Look at him just pipe down uh, Smack as well. So Banny's holding his ground here. He's so brave. 1v5. Not a problem for Banny, the long haired Jesus. As uh, now LG is actually trying to get back in here. Uber's not that far away. It's Shade. Never did go down. Here comes the Siege in. Great positioning for Red. LG in on that top left. Heavy is going to go down. Moose already down. Shade, though, does go down to Platinum. An equalizer fight. Not as overpowered and stupid looking now. But <laughs> Tyrone is going to get cleaned up. So the scouts are behind as well as Banny's also behind. So what a weird fight here. And Platinum is going to go down. Smack, I believe, is a respawner. So after all that, Sigma, strange stuff. Shade did die, so not a full loss. Though so I'm not sure if we're going to see LG push last here. I don't think so. Yeah, they might just poke their heads in, but there's way too many spawns now, so it doesn't make sense anymore. More. Uh, uh, Platt and Mixup did a good job kind of getting the tailing end of frags there so that they couldn't get their last push right away, but if they hadn't killed Shade, then this round would already be over at this point. Uh, no off-classing from LG yet. Maybe, I think, I expect they're going to suicide somebody because they've been having a lot of trouble pushing last. There goes last, Paul right so. now. Sigma so smart. He's in it last, yeah. too. I don't know. He's like trying to out-DM the heavy. He's, He's gonna like, die. I'm going to get you with a scatter. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Although he did, he, he, he did, did a lot of damage him. Yeah, he flat, did. though. Look at that. Yeah, I came out there. Yeah. Uh, so Paul will probably come back. Sniper. Greg, you guys play this map at EU? I don't know how you, as a premier level player, how how would you like to, to see this point pushed? We've discussed it many times. It's just pretty hard when both teams are Uber. 
Yeah, well, we don't actually play this map at all. I don't think the last time no. we played it was season nine, so a good three, four seasons ago. So it's we just don't use it because last is like this. It just makes it so boring, especially when you only play thirty-minute maps. It's going to be sitting here, you know, zero-zero games. Right. So, uh, but I like, you know, I quite like the heavy play. But obviously, you've got to try and get in through the choke quite. It's so hard to get in. And I, the last time we saw uh, LG pretty much get in quite well, get the heavy and get soldier in behind to try and like deal a lot of damage. I think if LG try that again. They should be able to come out on top. They were so close last time. It was just that headshot from Moose, really, that, that stopped the whole push taking the heavy down. The heavy was at 450. He was the only guy with health on the LG team. And if he had stayed there, they probably would have been able to push him. But actually coming from the right-hand side now, leading just a solo Uber on the soldier. I think it's Tyrone now. KBK manages to find his own soldier. There was so much damage to that heavy. Takes him down. And it's actually and that's Enigma taking down Dave AC. The heavy is still alive. Platt's still trying to chase him. He does go down to Lansky in the end. Wow. Platt's going to have to back up and meet his, heavy, uh, meet his medic even. And yeah, Seabear take over. Wow. Yeah, the heavy uh, absorbed about 400 points of damage. And uh, yeah, Tyrone got the Uber in. But uh, Platinum is so good with those Ubers, Sigma. We've seen it all day yesterday. Or we saw it all day yesterday and continue to see it now. I mean, just finding people the damage during the Uber yeah. versus Uber fight is really kind of amazing. He really smelled blood on that one, because he was kind of just hanging out near the middle door, and then he just walked in right where Banny and the Heavy were, and they had to get the heck out of there, while well, Tyrone was kind of left with a decision to commit to the far side of point where everybody was just kind of kiting away or try to go help his team. So LG got crushed by that really nice Uber from Mixup here, but they do stabilize around mid, because Shade did manage to get out, so Mixup probably just going to have to wait for LG to make a move on this one. We saw this last LAN too, or um, last Sunday. Generally, the team's waking up early. I mean, they're nerds too. They stay up really late. So, um, you know, as as raw and out of it as we might be as casters, yeah, so the same thing for these players. I think the level of play always rises after us uh, in the first 15, 20 minutes. I'm not saying that this is bad. It's not. It's just it's not that um, fast-paced action that we saw yesterday. Basically, on every map, people are playing a lot more calculated here. I'm not sure who that favors, Greg. Honestly, um, it seems like the more Uber versus Uber fights that occur, the more advantage Mixup's going to have, because Platinum is just basically unstoppable right now. Yeah, I completely agree. LG are always a team that likes to slow things down, so it can't, you know, not go in their favor whatsoever, but they, you know, with Plat playing like this off the Ubers, you you probably need to try some sort of non-Uber push. I mean, last time they took second, I think it was a, you know, a couple of minutes ago, LG went in with a non-Uber push in that top left side and pretty much crushed it. And if, you know, if Shade had stayed alive, they would have got a point. So maybe if they want to go in and, you know, cycle the Ubers now, keep all six players alive and then try and push in afterwards, that's what I would, like, personally try and do, you know, try and push that non-Uber push in, but as you were seeing, they come the Banny and uh, Tyrone over here, along with Shade, Uber triggered later for LG at the moment, so they're going to have a slight advantage off the back of this, Sizer goes down, Platt going and finding yet another person during that Uber, although KBK does go down, nice play from Clockwork, Platt's in behind, Scout in on the combo does go down as well, and that's four players down, just a heavy and demo left up, Seabear. Yeah, uh, he got a little greedy at Platinum that time, and KBK didn't quite read it right, he stayed in too long, and they were able to clean up the combo, which is a big, obviously, a huge play uh, for LG, and they're actually getting ready to push last. Look at this heavy, he's got a million life. In fact, he has two HP, and he's gonna spin up Russian last stand. Gets shotgunned down by Tyrone. Big pick there at the very end. Timing of death's very important. He's not gonna be in the fight for a while now, and that's gonna give LG that non-Uber push opportunity. And there they go. Uh, Tyrone gets one, Banny gets one, Shade and Banny doubling up a domination. Clockwork's gonna clean up two onto last, and surgically done after back and forth action. It's now tied up one to one. LG waited for Platinum finally to make a mistake, Sigma, and they capitalized there. Yeah, and also Clockwork and Tyrone getting those nice picks to lead them into last. Clockwork saw his opportunity and rushed down Smacka, so Smacka wasn't in that fight along with that heavy. And that's kind of what LG needs, is just Clockwork needs to get those those key kills, and it makes it so much easier for them to push in. As we roll into the next mid, we see a huge fight over on LG's left and Mixup's right. It seems like everybody is just balled up here. and. It starts to go LG's way, but health is extremely wow. low on both sides, so one or two rockets could change the entire fight here. And Platt looks like he's going to jump forward see what he can do. Platt and with the Nicholas health, that's a lot. Wow. Yeah, he did a ton on top of the roof. I thought LG was going to win it, but that health sigma just not 
Uh, nearly enough for LG. We do see pressure on the Banny here. The non-overpowered stick is out. Look at this showdown between the sticks. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Platinum was able to get him there at the end. Banny and Platinum had a man's agreement. We're the two best in the server. Let's fight like men. And Platinum, Greg, he's got bad intentions. He's at last right now, searching for Shade, but he's in a backup. He knows how important it is for him to stay up. But as we stand, Greg, uh, there might be an Uber fight here on two. Yeah, the, both both pop right now, and we're actually seeing some spawners coming in from LG now. We should be able to push Mix up out and actually pick up Platinum off the back of that Uber as well. I think he was off the side and actually wasn't in it. Uh, Moose manages to take down Clockwork, and this is going to go probably into Mix up's way as they're taking that upper ground on the top left. Although Tyrone gets a big pick onto Moose, and that's going to force the whole of Mix up out, and they lose both scouts. So we're going to see LG pressure really hard. Dave leading the charge with the first rocket onto the medic. Nice rocket surf there, and although Smacker and Lance both go down just the medic alive along with spawners I think of Moose and Platinum will they reach him in time KBK is gonna get out 66 HP see bear what's gonna happen here well see bear may or may not still mm. be alive over there so we're just gonna watch as LG caps mid KBK did manage to back all the way up with it of that, so they have the Uber to defend too, and Enigma, Enigma actually playing Spy, spy yeah. here, so that's interesting. And he's already behind the entire team, doesn't look like they're aware of it at all, he's onto the medic, he's so close to getting the stab, right with Uber, he's just following him and he finally gets it, he gets oh. bad as well! Massive play from Enigma there on Spy. So now Mixup just gonna roll them forward, they pop, they're just gonna clean everything up of this LG team that was so ready to push, and then Really sick spy play from Enigma. I must have missed when he switched because he was way behind them by the time I even looked at him. Yeah, indeed, I saw it about the same sort of time as you, and just such big plays. You know, the two biggest picks as you're kind of just starting to push into that point the Uber and that demo man of Banny. And now we're seeing LG gonna have to try and set up here on this second point. They do get forward spawns, which means they are, you know, right there, but they're, you know, 30% Uber advantage from mix up. There's a heavy of Sizer, possibly try and waste a lot of that Uber as they come in, but we'll have to wait and see how Mixup try and do this. They look like they might want to go on that right-hand side, possibly a scout Uber. I don't know if Mixup do that very often. In fact, no, they're swapping over to left, leading uh, Smacker and Platinum over there as KBK is just buffing everyone as they hit that 100%. Slowly going to start pushing on that right. They're going to possibly try and get in without having to pop. There's the pop onto Platt. Let's see how Platt can do with this with this Uber. Of course, he's got about 20% worth before Shade gets it. They're going to pick up second point. And actually, Banny's caught out by Platt. Can Platt finish him off? No, he can't. Nice save from Clockwork. And we might see LG just push straight back with the super advantage. In fact, they lose Clockwork. I think he's slightly overextended there. Smacker with a big pick. And then in comes Enigma. Three shotting Tyrone. And Enigma does get out of there as well. And LG are back right on the back foot at the moment they're probably going to pop to hold this last three versus six sigma yeah i was thinking lg would be good on that push because platinum was down but the rest of mix up just stepping up and doing a lot of work the uber forced out of lg mix up only losing their scouts for this so they're going to be happy with that result all they need to do is kite back round two but smacka looks like he's kind of getting caught there's a scout right on his face that's clockwork doing a lot of damage and the heavy Going up big and killing Platt again. So, Lansky on the back cap. Look out of there, there's the back cap. Who is that? Is that Soldier? Lansky. Soldier. Lansky managed to slip by during it. That was within less than a second, I think, of the two cap going down. So, uh, another back cap happening in this map here. And uh, nice job from Mixup. They were surely going to lose mid if they didn't get that down. So, good play out of Lansky there. Finding the opportunity. I didn't see what Dory used, but well done there. I'm going to watch Clockwork on this mid. Uh, just see how effective he is, because he seems to be really the deciding factor in uh, LG's success on these middle points. Are you back with us, Seabear? I had to get back in the game. It wouldn't be a land cast if my computer didn't shut down, so let's keep going. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know in a minute. Alright, so Clockwork, apparently Mixup has figured him out because both scouts run into him immediately on that uh, left side for Clockwork, right side for Mixup. And that's going to cause a lot of problems for Mixup. Maybe they're focused a little too direct at just one scout because now they're getting cleaned up without any momentum out of that side. Dave AC doing what he's done so much this land, sitting on a roof and just tossing rockets down at people who aren't able to focus back at him with too busy with targets on the ground. So LG with a dominating mid win. Platt or Tyrone probably waiting for double forward spawn because this is a guaranteed cap here. And then an uber advantage for LG to go into last. So are they going to try... Are going to try for maybe a fifth time to make this work? The double scout uber in the right? I hope for their sake that they don't, because they seem to have absolutely terrible luck with that play. They're just, it does look like a scout uber 
coming down the stairs. Getting blasted around a bit by Stickies, but they have really great presence on the point right now. That's LG. Clockwork getting the first frag onto Enigma. Tons of damage going out onto Mixup, but in the meantime, Moose, Smack of Plat, all picking up frags onto LG as the Uber fades. Tyrone's gonna jump in. He's getting some good rockets in, but KBK manages to live, but no, Clockwork's back. I don't know if he was a spawner, if he was just cycling for health. He gets two frags, but uh, Moose already head on two is going to get that cap. But with KBK down, LG can actually just slow push this. Although Shade did take a bad spawn back spawning, or not hitting the second forward, so that's a problem. But he is on Kritzkrieg, so this last push could be expedited a lot by, uh, by the Crits there. What do you think, Greg? Yeah, well, I don't actually know how Crits Creek really works pushing into this last point because you're obviously still coming through the choke point, so it's going to be really, really tough to get into a position so Banny can get that first sticky off. Maybe Seabear can uh, talk more about Crits Creek on this last point. I don't know. Well, Sigma's the Crits master, but <laughs> it, is there any uh, high level Crit? You got to probably you want to create a distraction so you have something yeah. like Dave jump around like an idiot, and then you peek a different door with the Crit, and just it's all about that first prime sticky for Crits, and Banny's the best, so. Um, it's not a bad play. We're gonna see if it works out right now. Hopefully my computer's done crashing. Oh, he short arms the sticky onto the heavy. He's trying to get to him. Finally does drop Lansky. Able to drop KBK. Big crit by Banny. Missed the first three, but came all the way back to get the job done there. Had to hold my breath there, Swing. So is, is Banny gonna brick a crit? No way. <laughs> Could that can't happen. happen. No. God, as we are now 2-2, two -two, I believe it. We are. I missed a round. Apparently I missed an epic enigma backstab. Yeah, thing? got yes. uh, Shade, I think with Uber and Banny right before they pushed in, totally oh. crushed them. My computer sucks, plus the 100 degree heat that I'm sitting in, not good. Uh, Alright, so mid-fight, uh, number 5, these teams always seem to have great matches from another one and makes making here. Uh, both teams bombing in, big bomb by Platinum, they will drop Shade right away. Though KBK is going to go down to Tyrone, so some pocket on Medic love for both teams here. Looks like uh, LG's got a better uh, sort of fight going on here. Smack is going to go down in the middle of that house. Scout v Scout fight on the left side there, but no, Clockwork's like, I'm not going to fight you. I'm going to go kill Moose instead. We still do have that Scout. Clock was fighting. Enigma is alive. Not sure where he is. He's not going to leave mid. He's a man's man. He's going to fight to the death, and there that death certainly is. Banny's going to drop him down. So LG, Greg starting to pick it up here. Uh, really clean mids. Losing their medic, but winning mids. Yeah, indeed. Both medics went down so quickly in that fight that it was kind of just like who can conserve their, you know, their health as much as possible and just go in and deal with the per perfect amount of damage. A really nice bomb started by Platt, but Tyrone obviously, you know, coming up behind it. And then it, kind of the positioning from LG just, you know, came up trumps there. A few of the mix-up scouts were a little bit caught out and couldn't get into any position to deal maximum damage. And your know, clock and size are in such good positions that that's why they end up taking that down. And they'll probably try and push in here. KBK takes a big pipe from Banny over that hill. He took a few yesterday random pipes, so I don't think Banny knew who he hit with that pipe at all. And Uber, slight advantage for LG. Are they going to push straight on off, the, off that? They're trying to go in on the left-hand side by the looks of it. Banny just trying to do a little bit of damage from that main door, and they are going to slowly creep in on the left-hand side. They've got the height advantage. Tyrone up there. Soldier jumps in, oh. does take down Clockwork, but they take down Platt before the Uber pop from KBK, and KBK drops him. Uber now going to come back from Shade eventually. They don't even need to. There it is. Lansky does take down Dave on the side. So that's a player advantage at the moment for Mixup. But this Uber's going to tell and Sizer managed to pick up Moose. Players going down left and right at the moment as we're going to see LG try and push in holding that top advantage. But Sizer goes down after a Lansky bomb. See there, how's this going to go? It's so close. Lansky bombed in. I thought he was going to get Shade, but he didn't. Nigma with a huge He's yeah. able to drop the combo, though. Says Lansky, you're not going to do it. I got three, baby. Wow. One, two, three for uh, Carl there. Enigma playing well. Still have pressure on two, though. Clockwork is going to fight Enigma. He's going to feed him number four here. No, it's actually Moose, and he's able to meet shot him down there. Clockwork on the point here. He is getting shut down by Platinum. Smack reaches out and touches him with a sticky there to end that fight. But wow, Sigma, what a crazy fight. Uh, looked like LG had good position, but uh, just in the end, uh, with spawns, Mixup was able to just, just barely repel them out. Yeah, and big play from Enigma. He was kind of stuck behind them on that push the entire time, and they knew he was there, but he kept running in and pot shotting and then running away, and running in and pot shotting and running away. It was one, like one of those annoying scouts in DM who won't fight oh. you straight up. And then finally, when nobody was looking at him, he came in and threw down three shots on Shade and two shots onto Banny, and just totally decided that push. So Enigma has been making a lot of big plays this land. In, mm -hmm. in these situations, he just goes for it, and sometimes it 
you know, his combo has to back up as a result, but a lot of the time he makes a huge impact, so I really like how he's been playing so far. But we have another setup for a push from LG. It's even Ubers again, so they're just going to have to decide where they want to take it. Looks like they're going to switch to left after they saw the combo up there. They want to get in close with the Uber quickly. And then we'll see how this push develops. Just look how much stuff goes on up here on the top left, I and mean, we see spam, pipes, rockets, we have bodies, scouts jumping around shooting um, like mid-range shots at you. It's just tough to get in here with any kind of health advantage. I, I don't know, I've been theory crafting how to push this really with Uber versus Uber. It just, it seems like you have to win the spam advantage, and it looks like right now Banny's doing that. Oh, oh, I thought that was the drop, it was actually Lansky. So I'm watching Banny drop damage over those crates. Finally the Ubers are going to be popped, it's kind of game of chicken with the Ubers. And look at KBK, it's oh, a tight and I am not going to pop this Uber. Finally does, way afterwards, and the LG combo Greg Bigger are going to have to get on their horses and get out of there. So um, that uh, sort of standoff of spam ended up being terrible for LG, and now they're in trouble on that left side getting pushed all the way back. And Benny walks forward to sacrifice himself, manages to nail a nice pipe onto Plat as they back up there. But yeah, that Uber was was forced by the damage Tyrone took, and then he missed his next two rockets. Really unfortunately to miss those two rockets right there onto KVK, so he just melted away. And uh, Mixup had a really great Uber as a result beyond their normally pretty solid Ubers. But Shade does live thanks to that good mm -hmm. defense from Banny and quick uh, realization of how fast they needed to run when they weren't getting that pop so they do have an even uber at two and um good we can we can watch more of this point oh fighting. man is it gonna be is it gonna be the heavy thing <laughs> yeah well god if it's the heavy thing i might just rip my uh, gut, guts out of my computer and just say I have goodbye for steam good. chat there's only about two minutes left in the half and mix up may or may not realize that so they might be playing a little too slow or maybe they're just timing it out so that they can't get pushed back on but we may see I dread it. It's 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 happening. It's warm front. Two two half with no okay. third cap is a potential here. My God, it's unheard of. No, it happens all the time at warm front. And, and there's the, the, use of the enigma the suicide. <laughs> uh oh, you know what that means, Greg. You know what that means. Yeah, heavy. we're gonna see that big see a heavy climb on roof. Of, yep. Yeah, <laughs> on top of that mid roof, and then we're gonna see a three person bomb for a mix up, trying to force shade, and then just rely on that heavy on the roof as I'm watching Enigma run all the way there. We saw this yesterday, what, three or four times, if not more than that, so it should be pretty fun to see, but how, do you reckon they're going to be able to pop Shade then? Um, I mean, they have to know it's coming. Um, I would assume both teams know the time left too. I would be shocked if a, a top two team would forget that there's a time limit, and I don't know. I mean, if you have the advantage in mid, Mix up, they should just go all out, I guess. I mean, they, at some point, I mean, when they think that it's too much time left for them to run it all the way back, whether or not they're going to make it work, I mean, LG has to know it's going to come. I mean, they, they, they're they passive. Enigma did the same suicide. Banny picks up on these patterns and games better than anyone we've ever seen, so he's probably talking about what's going on here. But uh, handling a heavy, not easy. But look, we see these three ready to go here, Greg. They're getting buffed up. They're going to probably try to get in. I don't know if they're going to go to the same door. One soldier's going to try to get in on that far right side. He's in, by the way. Lansky is in. He's bombing in. So the rest are going to follow in. They're going to be able to pop shade. So there's the answer to your question, Greg. Easy yes. Actually got some damage done there, too, as Dave is going to go down. So now they're going to use this Uber to try to gain ground. But Enigma's just trolling on the roof. Like, come and get it, baby. So I don't know, Greg. Would you try to pop them in mid if you're LG? Or do you just back up and just say, well, that worked pretty well for them? I think with that heavy on the roof, it's just so hard. I guess they went forward there to see if they could bomb anybody in at all, but LG probably made the right decision there. The good thing for Mixup is that Smacker went in to go and die, you know, forced the Uber, and actually managed to get out as well, so they had four players left in that middle. It wasn't just a three-person suicide. So Mixup had so many players there, and his LG just back up wisely. Uber's pop from Mixup. There's a sentry going up on last. LG know they're not going to be able to hold this. And Mixup should just cap this, and whether they know that the time is so low, they need to just go straight on to last. I'm sure LG do know with that gun up there as well. They're trying to do as much as they can. Banny putting some tra sticky traps up. Shade just getting his Uber now as well. Seabear, how would you push his Mixup here? Um, well, I'm looking at Shade. Well, yeah, they just got oh. Uber on the point. I was like, Shade's Ubered right now. I don't know why, but I think that means time's going to run out. So Mixup didn't know. Still a, a wonderful play, uh, Sigma. It's worked basically every time they've tried it. Um, the timing that goes into it and the theory, it's its nice, but it is pretty lame. <laughs> yeah. I can say. 
Actually, LG had a much better response to it at that time than they had previously because they got forced right up close on that top right area there. And yeah. previously they'd been backing up to try to kite away but still getting forced anyways because it's really hard to not get forced on a three-man bomb. And uh, We might have some time here. I was just I was looking, uh, I was trying to message somebody to get me back into the this, this Steam chat thing so I could be a part of the fun and listen to the live updates, but... Um, I saw Banny was out of game, so yeah, he's definitely Attack! lagged out right now at middle. He's doing the uh, look at—he really is the golden boy. He really is TF2 Jesus. He's walking on air. Yay, Banny! <laughs> um, so, we have thoughts on the on the first half, Sigma? Pretty even, about as even as it comes. Um, does either team have an advantage going into the break? Do you think, or going into the second half? Uh, I kind of think mix-ups momentum is carrying them a little bit here. I think they've been playing. I mean, they almost won that last round there. They had the choke hold on to last, so they had uh, a good ability to win it, but LG is playing really well as well. I think, per well, I mean, as they warm up, it'll be even better than they were playing yesterday, I think, because it's already showing a lot of promise. Um, yeah. What did I want to say? Okay, yeah, that heavy play from Enigma there. LG had the right response because they were holding up so far forward, and if they had wanted, they could have taken that Uber into mid because they were still flashing in yard, and that makes it really, really easy to make something happen when you when you still have a little bit of Uber, and that's the right response to suicides in most situations is they're going to force you, but then you're just going to push with it because it's basically you Uber, you get three frags, and then you're fighting the rest of their team right away. So you had a good Uber. Um... The only reason they, they backed up, because they walked halfway out into yard and then ran away, was because of the time, and that's a really good decision from them, because the only way they could have lost that round is if they had backed up, uh, or if they had gone into mid and had it catastrophically fail, it, and if they just backed up, they'd just, you know, give two, and then have an Uber yeah. for last and be okay. That's true. Greg, what do you think of the first half? Um, any thoughts? Who do you think's got the advantage here? Uh, well... One of the mix-up rounds, if not both, I seem to remember uh, Lansky got a back cap. Was there another round that was back capped out of interest? Do you guys remember? I think the round I missed was back capped. Yeah, so, yeah. so I think LG at the moment are looking pretty good at holding last and being able to push back. Unfortunately, they didn't manage to stop that back cap. And I feel that they, while at the end there they didn't have the momentum, uh, I think they're having getting the best of most of the fights at the moment, LG. And I feel if they can just keep doing that, they will go and push forward and take the take the map. Obviously, middles um, mixed up are trying to counter what LG are doing with this clockwork buff and coming in. They tried to do it with two scouts that? last time, which meant that they you know sacrificed two scouts on middle for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. And as such, LG managed to take it. I feel if um, mix up commit just one scout, full buff a scout to go in one on one clockwork down there, they would probably end up taking the middles. So uh, it's pretty even at the moment, but I'd give it still give it a slight advantage to LG. Right. Um, I got some info from my uh, insider TF2 source here, breaking down stats from the first half. I think this basically sums up. Now remember, LG is still, like, they're tied. Uh, Platinum right now, actually, let's start with Tyrone. Tyrone right now, from what I've gathered from my friend Justin White, says that Tyrone has 2.3k, I'm assuming, damage, and is 14 for 16. So 14 frags, 16 deaths. This is Platinum's number, remember, 2.3k damage. Platinum is 4.9k damage, and is 29 and 15. So, that <laughs> the combo play for Mixup is just dominating LG, yet LG is right there with it, so... I'm not sure what's more likely, Sigma, for Platinum to continue this just demolishing or for Tyrone and company eventually to catch up enough where that advantage doesn't play out to keep it even. Because, I mean, if you're if you're going that nuts and your team isn't winning, it, you know, it's it's got to be kind of startling for Mixup. Yeah, you you develop, start to develop a case of pocket soldier syndrome, and in this case, probably justified, because Platinum is just doing so much work this entire land, and he's it's, it's probably like, come on, guys, help me out here. Yeah, seriously. But that, I mean, those stats are unbelievable. As we see all of LG leaving the server, basically. They've all lagged out. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but it gives us time at halftime that we haven't had so far to come up with things to say, to entertain the people. Uh, uh, mm. All right, let's talk about the heavy play. I I'm, I'm intrigued as to how you, in a perfect world, both of you, uh, TF2, uh, wizards would, would attack such a strat. I don't really know what I would do. I mean, I would probably just jump at the heavy at middle after the after the force and just die and get wiped horribly, because um, for me, heavy has like a global taunt-like effect on me. I just have to jump at it. 
Uh, but Sigma, how would you handle that uh, mix-up heavy play? What, 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 I mean, just sort of how LG did it. You got to give it up if if you do pop. You can't sacrifice too hard trying to uh, get into middle or what. Well, I think I mean the, the way they handled that last round had the semblance of what I would do. The, but they have to commit to mid really punish it because you can't just let people suicide you take your uber and not do anything about it because that's just saying we'll we'll give up our advantage all the time um so i do like what they did with the super forward hold they got forced on the door that's fine they could have still had some of that uber if they just walked a single ubered player into mid with it and then it's pretty easy to make the force happen when you have banny and an ubered soldier tyrone uh in mid for like one or two seconds on that heavy, then you force them and then you can back up and uh, at least equalize the Ubers in that sense. And also you get an Uber advantage out of that because they've popped later. So I don't think you can really commit to mid after you get the Uber popped on the heavy because their spawns are going to come in and that just gets messy for you. But maybe you wait till you have Uber and then you can push or something like that. Unless you get a really nice yeah. exchange and like kill the demo randomly or something, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think you definitely have to get in there and force the Uber. You can't just let them get away with doing, you know, sacrificing three players and forcing your Uber. And so there's only three players that you've got to get in and, you know, at least sacrifice one of your own players to force their Uber so they don't have it to push in. Um, after you've sac uh, forced the Uber, you just got to try and scatter, possibly pick off the scout or force another multi, and then just got to take it from there, see how many players you got alive, see what position you're in, because generally with the heavy on the roof, it means you can't really get into good positions, and see where their spawns are. Obviously, like just make sure you know you're aware of when their spawns are coming in, because it's still quite a long run from that spawn door onto middle, that if they literally spawn as the Uber's running out, you can still contest it, take down the heavy, and then it just screws up all the players coming in, won't have a buff but it is a really, really hard thing to deal with because just middle is so far away from that, you know, two door uh, that even if you do pop Uber, as uh, Sigma says, like if you just start pushing straight away, you only get a couple of seconds of Uber on middle, so... We're here at mid for the second half, finally did start, and I hope I we just don't see that play again. Because I don't like things that slowed on the game. Bad. As we do see Banny beat uh, Smacka to mid by a lot, and uh, LG is on blue now. Uh, Dave is going to go down as the first casualty at mid, try to get aggressive a little early, a little off timing there. Um, looks like Mixup has a, a, a stranglehold right now, but Platinum is going to go down, which is not good for them. Clockwork able to get a second frag onto Enigma, and uh, Mixup is low on health. At least KBK is, though he does have his Uber up ready, so um, we're going to see a pretty long and drawn out fight here both medics ready to pop and uh, both teams relatively same health Tyrone gets dropped at the very end there by a smack of sticky so Shay not able to pop on him and finally KBK pops so a much better uber uh, go figure coming out of mix up here as Lansky drops clockwork and uh, Greg that should be it for mid fight a nice and long one there um, as we actually still have Sizer on middle here he's gonna try to do something he's gonna walk it on to the smack and smack of turns and swats him away like a fly Greg so mix up with the a, uh, a nice mid win. Yeah, indeed. It kind of felt like both teams were just circling around the middle house away from each other for the whole of middle and just like elongated that middle. Mixup did a really good job because there were a couple of players down. Popped later and they had their spawners coming in and they're just pushing in non Ubered already into the, into the second point. Lansky goes down in the chase for Dave and they run Banny down. It's kind of down to the scouts of LG here as they're the only ones left alive. 3v3. Shade's coming in on 63%, but no one's a heal, so Shade's not going to be anywhere near that Uber as KBK gets it now. Uh, mix up, unfortunately, though, will have to wait for their spawners before they can get in. As Clockwork's still there, trying to do some ju uh, some work on second point, but gets air shot by Platt. And actually, Platt wants to go in now before um, Shade gets his Uber. They pop really, really early. Jumps top, gets juggled a little bit. He's going to go in. Uh, Shade does have his Uber now, and Platt's kind of stuck in there. Uh, KBK is going to manage to get out with the majority of his team. Platt does eventually go down. Will mix up lose anybody else? I don't think so. And see bear take it away as LG start to push. Yeah, I think we're set up now for some stalemate action. Um, Platinum will come back as soldier, so I expect to see Enigma, someone sacrifice, although it looks like LG's getting a little testy. They're at the doors, and they're able to turn another frag, so a nice play by Dave and company, able to drop Enigma, and there they go. They're going to go for back two. Cap. So, but there's a back cap. Wow, Moose snuck in the other door. I think he got in far left for the attacking side. Just kind of sneaky, sneaky Moose. We talked about it yesterday. Uh, the sneakiest of all giant uh, four-legged furry creatures, Sigma, gallops away into the last uh, and, uh, and won the game. 
Yeah. That's actually from our on-site correspondent. We have Moose calling out the best as he caps last <laughs> once again on that back cap. So nice. Yep, and it's kind of true. Sneaky, sneaky Moose, the best Moose. As uh, we are at near mid-fight, uh, Mix-Up is up 3-2 to two now, so um, looking good here. They got to mid a little bit earlier, I'd say, though uh, both teams didn't take that same approach. Kind of going around, but Shade gets home run pipe at the start of the fight. Smacka takes Shade out, and two are going to fall as well. Mix-Up with a dominating mid-fight here. Clockwork and Banny need to make something happen here. They're able to drop Smacka, but that's oh. it. Banny's still alive, but he's out. He's got 11 HP at 2, and Greg, huge mid-fight. Shade, the first to die to a smack of pipe uh, Bad news here for LG. Indeed, I didn't actually see where Shade went down, whether Smacker was been playing really, really aggressive, or as you said, it was just a home run pipe over the top that he just ran straight into. Uh, Mix-up now, of course, having a full uber advantage. She's going to be starting to push in. Will they wait for their spawn? I'd forgotten who it was that died. Um, no, in fact, they're just going to go straight in now, leading with a scout. Both scouts, in fact, one of them gets onto the point straight away. Both of them onto the point. They're trying to force that debt. The debt doesn't come from Banny. Banny doing well with his stickies there. And wow. actually, LG wow. come up with all the frags. And KBK is going to go down as well. Take over, Seba. It's not over yet. Banny, though, uh, it's just smack. He's able to drop Tyrone there. But Banny, oh my god, the, just the, 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 the poise, not the debt stick. He's in the face of those scouts. He's like, no, you're still Ubered, still Ubered, still Ubered. Okay, now I'll dead and get two. So Banny and company with a huge hold, Sigma. Improbable. Uh, just so far behind at that point. The scout Uber came in, but uh, I guess lesson learned for Mixup. You just kind of want to Uber Platinum and let him win the game for you. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, it's a bad day for scout Ubers all around. They've been yeah. like maybe 1%, 10% successful. <laughs> But yeah. I, I mean, I like the thought of it. It's just <clears throat> they really didn't go for frags. They they Ubered the scouts and they both ran on the point. I guess they were trying to to force an early debt, but Banny just uh, held on to it there. So um, if they forced a debt, they you know everyone would have had to collapse on the point. They probably would have gotten it, would have uh, LG, but it just didn't work out that way. Yeah. And as we I stand right now, we have another heavy sigma. So yay. Oh, so size are playing heavy here. Uh, maybe a preemptive counter attempt to the Enigma Heavy, although honestly I think the scout works better because even when you have a Heavy I think it's pretty likely that you're going to get forced by that play so you just need more forward momentum, but we haven't seen an Enigma Suicide yet so it's going to be something different. He's although, going on the right hand side now. Yeah, pretty much in, every yeah. time mix ups in this situation they do this oh! play. Oh! He's just going to beat Stabase, he's still in there doing damage. I don't know if they're just going to push off of this or not, but Sizer's going to drop him down with that heavy gun. But he walked up, Greg, and said hello and goodbye to uh, Big Dave. Yeah, three shots and Dave's just sat down, no buff for him, and like couldn't hit any rockets. Nice dodging, and he'll probably come back as heavy as we've just been talking about. And uh, LG Whoa. actually looking to be a little bit more aggressive on that round side again, like you've been you talked about earlier, Sigma. He's a, he's a spy. I got a point. Oh, this. No, like he switched that. to heavy. Oh. Okay. oh man, I was so excited. He was gonna make a spy play instead, then he changed his mind. These guys um, as your friendly heavy and let him see you and then cloak in. Oh my god, that'd be so strong. <laughs> that would have been brilliant, actually. It would have. Um, while we're Good. in this uh, dead time, we talked about uh, the difference between uh, Plat and Tyrone in half time, but we didn't actually talk about the difference between Banny and Smacker. Smacker's actually having a brilliant game compared to what he played yesterday. At, at half time, he was only what, 600 damage behind overall damage, which from his point of view compared to yesterday is not bad at all. Uh, LG trying to play aggressive onto his left hand side with a heavy. Clockwork just comes out in his face. It might be able to force the Uber onto the heavy. Does the heavy get out of there? Yes, he does. Enigma just about manages to get out of there. Good timing from him. And let's see what uh, Mix Up decides to do again as Enigma just comes in main door trying to still do damage. They're trying to lead with this heavy, the 450 heavy, just trying to do as much damage as possible, Seba. Yeah, the 450 is kind of a big number as far as life goes. I mean, you just watch, watch the heavy just, just, just take like rockets and everything. Is he finally going to go down? So Russian Bear, very strong, but finally went down to probably the 700th bullet entering his Russian flesh there. So heavy, very strong, but uh, still is killable, apparently. And that's an AQLG definitely going to push off of that. Although they do have a heavy of their own, which is going to limit their forward momentum, as Sigma said. But uh, I don't know. They're not actually really going. So I guess they kill the heavy. They do like a team high five and then realize that they really don't want to push Sigma. But uh, yeah, they're just going to kind of hang out at two. Yeah, it's really difficult to push onto this midpoint against the spawn advantage. Enigma comes back scout, so maybe we're just going to repeat this entire cycle again. Ubers weren't used. It's uh, The clock's ticking. We've been here for three and a half minutes now. Enigma suiciding, so that scout spawn, eh. He didn't really want to play scout, so he's going to go back and probably switch to yet another off class. 
maybe heavy, maybe some spy this time for real. Uh, LG's edging out a bit, but I wouldn't My expect God. them to commit to this. I mean, oh no, Paul's oh, gonna go Sizer. down. He's gonna get caught out saying, thinking his Russian uh, body will absorb all the damage in the world. He gets dropped, so now I, I mean, I hope Mixup pushes off of this. Looking over at what Enigma spawns, actually staying scout, so they're definitely looking to go soon. As so they want to get before Paul comes back up, and Clockwork is fighting Moose. Woo, clean two shot for Clockwork onto Moose there. The best for that fight at least is Clockwork, and uh, that's probably gonna stall the push out now. Maybe. We'll see yet another Enigma suicide. I don't know. Clockwork is out on his right side. They're fighting, and a lot of stalemating going on here, Sigma, more than we've seen. So, um, ah, Clockwork's gonna no, not get picked. Although he got very low. Tyrone, though, does get picked. Enigma is gonna go down, so he flies in. Not sure if he's gonna try to change classes here. Pretty sure uh, Mixup's gonna try to get in. Uh, they are yeah. on the point now, so, uh, Greg, they're finally trying to break this stalemate. Uh, spam fight here and maybe we'll see something happen. Yeah, Platt's committing and he's actually been uber but a nice juggle from Clockwork although he does go down so that's two big picks. Annie and Clockwork. Platt's going to try and push the last with this uber. He's going to try and force it. Does slightly get juggled. Still failing his rocket jumps and then does get taken down. So mix up do take second point but lose their, you know, the forward aggression of Platinum and we'll probably see LG push with the super advantage the moment Clockwork spawns. Yeah, they should. I mean, I don't, I, they've been kind of more passive than I'd like to see out of a team in this situation, but they're going to go, for sure. And they're in top right. Oh, they do have a scout. Moose is hanging out behind. He's actually going to go for another sneaky, sneaky back cap. Sigma! Oh my god, there's a scout here at last. Scout fight for the point here. Moose versus Clockwork. Clockwork is able to shut him down to save the round for right now. Shade does pop on two. Sneaky, sneaky Moose, but Clockwork was uh, onto his game there, Greg. Yeah, indeed, and actually a scout coming in, trying to take down Shade, doesn't manage to do it, hits a decent shot, so whether Platt will go for it, or Lansky will go for it, actually one of them jumps away, stuck on that top right position, I don't know where the second one is, Lansky's back on that health, back under the cliff, just jumps back, and where uh, Moose tried to get in onto the last point is exactly the same place as he did it earlier, and exactly the same place as Lansky did it earlier, so LG need to really be aware of that right hand door, and they did manage to be aware of it that time. Yeah, uh, clutch by Clockwork to save the round there, and look at LG running it all the way back, Sigma. That's what you want to see when a team gets an advantage, push as far as you can. It was definitely a two-point swing, and LG didn't slow down. Recapping mid, which has just been such a problem for them all game long, so now they have a chance to even it up here in this pretty methodical round, I have to say. Yeah, they managed to kill KBK on their Uber onto two somehow. I was busy watching that backcaps 1v1 scout fight, so I didn't catch it, but they had an Uber advantage, but they kind of waited, they waited a bit too long for buffs, so now they're going to push into this uber, and they look like they want to use scouts, which is not good, you don't want scouts in your face of an uber plat, but actually, Clockwork dancing around, plat can't oh. land a shoddy, so that eats up the entire uber, now the uber coming in from shade on everybody getting flashed, just to get presence on the point there, and looks like LG absolutely going to clean this up, Moose trying to make a play, he goes down, here's plat, plat last one standing, but he can't get anything, so Clockwork sucks the uber out of mix-up. Finally, finally a bad uber from Platinum and that ends the round. So that shows you the importance of uh, the quality combo uber from mix-up to, yeah, make them not lose like that. Yeah, indeed. And he also managed to get a kill out of it after Plat missed like three or four, possibly five shotgun shots. Clock jumps away from him in two shots. Um, I think it was Moose, maybe it might have been Enigma, and then goes down. So Clock actually trades after wasting all that time. So absolutely brilliant from him there. And Seabear take it away from middle. Seabear is gone, so I will ah. take it away. His connection That's apparently right. having a lot of trouble. I'm watching Dave AC as he fails the skip jump onto Smacka, but gunboats are fine, so he can just jump around and get on Smacka anyways. And uh, that's a big advantage for LG here. KBK kind of looks like he's stuck. Enigma trying with the defense. He doesn't manage to keep KBK alive, but he kills Sizer. Gets a lot of good damage onto Clockwork, but he can't finish the job. Now, LG, full wiping uh, mix-up without losing their medic, is going to get four pretty much for free here. Their combo's is going to be there before anybody shows up for mix-up, and it'll just be a full push into last, so up to them how they want to take this. But should be their round if they don't uh, have something catastrophic happen to them, like another double scout walk onto mm. Sticky Trap during Uber play. I predict them doing the double scout out of that right door again. Every time they've got Uber advantage, they do, they do that. In fact, this time they're taking one scout and Banny. That's probably going to be a better decision. The scout just checking everything out, no sticks. He's going to go in now. They pop the Uber onto the scout and onto Banny. So Multi-Uber coming in, focusing down that heavy. Heavy doesn't take that much damage. Eventually goes down, but they lose both 
Sizer and Dave. Platt does go down next to a Banny Pike. Can LG push this out? They've got so many low players, but they have a player advantage. In fact, they just lost Shades. So they've lost their medic. Uh, KBK is on 62%, but he can't really do very much. Dave's on 1 HP, and that is 4 to 3 in favor of LG. Really, really nice push into last there. Yeah, so the start of the Uber comes in on Banny and Clockwork. Not too much work gets done. They manage to pick the heavy at and that's pretty much it. And then, near the end of the push, Banning Clockwork still managing to be alive, managed to finish off the uh, round there, so good job from them. Now we head out to the another middle. I think this is 4-3, so one round from LG taking this map potentially, and Banny already starting off things strong, getting some good damage onto Platt, but a scout is right up in his face. Banny living barely with uh, the help from Tyrone to pick up Moose there, but the health from LG not too good, so Smacka now moving up with the stickies. Here's a Equalizer jumped that Tyrone gets piped. That was interesting. But now 2v2, just Banny versus a really low health Lansky and a pretty healthy Smacka. Banny is going to go down to Smacka there. So Smacka giving back some of that damage that he ate at the third of mid. And good cap for mix up here. Yeah, indeed, on that middle, they came in on the left hand side with the you know, medic and the scouts, and I think a soldier as well. But they just got surrounded from all three sides. Uh, Shade just got pretty much destroyed. Nowhere he could surf to, nowhere he could go, and just got taken down. And Mix Up pretty much cleared all the kills up in that corner. And once that was done, it was just a case of finding the rest of the players and taking them down. And Mix Up, of course, taking middle. And we're back to the same situation. Equal Uber, a heavy of Sizer defending. I think it's Sizer anyway. Yep, defending on second. And will we see the Enigma bomb? or the Enigma uh, charge in to try and get some sort of kill before he goes and comes heavy. Well, the one big difference is KBK is running crits and they're building hard. Uh, Shade spawned earlier, so he has Uber soon, but KBK has it. They just need to find their opportunity. Uh, here's the crits popped. First sticky hits the wall, so now Shade knows what's up and he has Uber. They abandon Smacka. Uh, they get the force out, but Mixup is going to have to run for their lives against this shiny blue killing machine and with no smacker to slow them down it's gonna be tough Platt hits some nice rockets onto clockwork meanwhile Banny does a ton of damage to him but nobody's finishing Platt so he's just standing there dishing out the pain getting a ton of kills Tyrone says hello to the wall and rockets it there's Sizer on heavy he's on mid but there's a scout on two so that's not the best place for a Russian to be in this situation he's 1v1 surfing a stick onto smacker almost kills him but no luck there so uh Nice attempted repush there from LG, but uh, they don't manage to get far enough forward with their Uber there, and they take too much damage from Platt's Rockets coming in with their uh, entire team balling on the right. We they're do have some nice kills. So yeah, they're, they're not sitting back. They're pushing up on the two. I'm back. Hello. Here's bad. I'm going to get a new one because I'm tired of that, but I've turned the fan speed up. But hopefully we have Enigma that's spy on last, but the point's gone, so that's that. Shade did go down in that <laughs> oh! exchange, but Enigma, what? Pistol? Hello. Sizer, hello. Pistol. <laughs> now he's getting uh, yeah. escape yeah, planned in the face. And that wasn't in his plan, and now he's gone. But KBK has another crits built up. He's just waiting for the team to group up a bit so they can take this on Smack. A shade has no response. I don't believe um, that KBK has died, so sh they should know that this is crits still. Or maybe it's super mind game. He died and stayed on crits. But here it comes. Banny is the first casualty. Shade dodging around. Tyrone's second casualty. KBK dies, but that'll be enough for Mixup to take two with the heavy classes. Shade is fighting a scout at last right now. Moose just ran right through and was able to drop Shade at last, so that cleaned it up. Exclamation point. Shade dying at the very end. That could be it. I think we'll be tied up now as it's 4 3 as it stands for LG. Um, missing rounds left and right here. Sizer is on the demo, but last is going down. In the meantime, Lansky trying to get the cap on it. No one else from Red is at last right now. Tyrone was able to shut that down. There are spawns in now. Ubers are about the same. Greg, can they stabilize LG and, and hold here? Uh, I think it's just going to be one of these, you know, head against the wall. In fact, it's crit Creek still from KBK, so oh. this is definitely not going to be some stabilized mashing of heads. It's going to be a crit from Smacker. Last time he got Banny and Tyrone, this time he's going to have to get that sticky onto Shade. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is the past three times KBK has died, uh, sorry, Shade has died, it's been Moose three times in a row in his back well, first time. Second time he was sat, sat at the forward spawn off to getting the, the cap, just comes in and gets a kill. And actually, the crits is coming in through main I think the smack has not got it quite yet oh he did have it but he's missed every sticky and that's pretty pointless Ooh, uh, crits there from mix up 
Uh, LG is just going to grab a bunch of kills and try and push out. Moose is actually in the same spot that he killed Shade from last time, so possibly going to come in and try and kill him as they push through. Uh, LG slowly pushing this rather than just rushing straight forward. And I'm watching Shade. He's going to come straight into past Moose. Is Moose going to go for him? No, I don't think so. In fact, Moose might be going for last. Moose is going to go for last right now. Sneaky, sneaky two HP. Oh, they see him. They got him. Banny able to get back in time. So Moose has done that same play uh, at least tw uh, three times now. I don't know if that other back cap, he was sitting in that little nook on the far right. I believe that's a forward spawn door, but it's out of the way. I mean, he just kind of sneaks by there, but here we go. LG's trying to they pop their Uber on the far right side of two. Trying to clear out enough space so they can cap behind it, though. There's a crit behind! Wow, Banny's going to go down along with Sizer. The Platinum crits. A very dangerous thing indeed. Dave is going to go down. Here comes Blue trying to fight him off here, but there's a heavy! Oh god, not a heavy, LG says. Shade is like, I gotta fight this by myself. I am so dead right now. He's gonna try to make it back to last, but he's the only one up here. They're already at last. Shade is gonna get picked up here before he can do anything. Platinum caps a point, and we are tied four to four. Another great game between these two teams, Greg. Yeah, indeed, and that crits from Plat was better than both the smacker crits as we've seen so far. So maybe they should need to keep this uh, you know give it so give it to him yeah yeah let him get like a million damage give it to plat Dude, so I'm gonna watch Smacker out into middle this time. He's actually going top by balcony, but Banny's gone on the on the floor and he's just putting some stickies out into the arriving combo. But Banny goes straight down next to Moose and Smacker spamming him down. This is not looking good so far for LG. That scout is gonna go down on the right side. That's Clockwork. Platt does go down after his jump. There's a soldier in behind this mix of team. Gonna jump for the medic. Will KBK oh. survive this bomb? Yes, he will. Dave unfortunately couldn't do anything, and Tyrone and Shade are well out of there after losing Banny and Clockwork that early in middle. Yeah, I don't know what happened with Banny. It looked like um, the LG scouts got their buff, and I don't know if mix-up scouts stayed for theirs. They just kind of bum-rushed Banny with the help of Smack and took him down, but we do have both Ubers being popped here. Try and defend, too. It's kind of a weird uh, uh, look here out of the blue Uber. Usually we see Platinum getting that solo Uber, but it's Tyrone here, but look at it! Wow, he finds Banny in the middle of that. That could be the frag that opens the door to, to mix up winning on Warm Front. Huge play by uh, Enigma. Dave is going to go down. Clockwork is going to go down. Moose trades, but they don't have the best of this at all. They're going to try to fight it. Sizer's going into beast mode. Tyrone onto Platinum. Wow, clutch frag Sigma out of Sizer and Tyrone. It looked desperate, but they were able just to turn it around enough trying to capture two here. Yeah, and I think they're going to be able to finish this cap, but Mixup is going to be pushing right away. Plat is not there. That's what LG has going for them, is Plat is just a spawn, so the forward momentum from Mixup will probably be waiting for him to get back to take this Uber in. And there'll be just another Uber exchange, which Mixup has been doing well in so far. So we'll see what LG manages to do, uh, if they can manage to find somebody with Tyrone behind the Uber or something like that to equalize it out a little bit. I believe we've been here before, Greg, in this same spot. I'm oh, not sure. no. <laughs> I, think, I don't think we've seen this at all, have we? I, no, I, I'm I, not, I'm, I'm, well, they're doing a different setup, at least so far, is uh, no, Mixups is kind of teasing us. They're like, we're going to go in this door, not nah, go go heavy, idiot, and then we're going to laugh and cry at the well, same I'm time. watching Enigma, and I, I'm yeah, no, I really so close to them, so I don't feel good. He's dead now. No. Oh, God. <laughs> Enigma, come back. So he's definitely going to respawn his heavy. Let's see if LG ch changes anything up here. Um, I didn't see if this play was run while one of my many crashes. Um, but it looks like it's it diminishing results so far. Um, it worked really well. It worked a another time. I don't know if it's going to work continually. Um, they're definitely going to try it. As uh, it's Actually, Enigma is pyro. pyro right now. <laughs> yeah, Sigma and I love the pyro. So, uh, okay. I don't know how that's going to change the play. But uh, Pyro is in for the first time on a non-last push. Um, it, I've heard Enigma's like the best pyro in in TF2. Is is that oh, yeah. or in six v six? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess he's he's really good. We generally see him stuff Ubers at last and clutch that way. I'm not sure how his open field pyro will play, but uh, I guess we're gonna see right now. As he is gonna walk <laughs> and fire at him, like ah, get back. And they were like, nah, we're just gonna shoot you, buddy. And then he died. So okay, um, is that gonna Slides be enough? I okay, he's spawning now as uh. Oh, yeah, Sizer is sniping. I didn't even notice that. So he. That was an attempted counter to the heavy. To the heavy, yeah. And now he's actually got a shot on the medic here. I don't know if he can shoot through there. Oh, oh! Missed it there. Look, going for the full body shot. No nonsense out of Brown. But he's going to miss there. Greg, pretty exciting stuff. Making this stalemated a two uh, little thing a little bit more fun with uh, the, the shenanigans here. 
Yeah, indeed, and now mix up no there's a sniper, so maybe they'll want to go in this, you know, that's a scout down from, uh, or, or non-heavy from Sizer's point of view, so we're going to see Enigma get a full buff on the right-hand side and go in, he's going to go for that Dave kill, he's done this multiple times so far, Dave is really low right now, 51 does take him down thanks to Clock's help, and the Uber is triggered at the front as well for both teams, mix up Platt trying to get out of there, Tyrone gets killed, taking down Smacker, uh, Moose goes down, Lansky goes down, this is going well so far from LG, Shade is going to start heating his team up and they're going to push straight onto this middle here, Seba. I love the play out of Enigma to go back to Scout, seeing that advantage. It's like he's outplaying there, but the, the, the DM in the end wasn't uh, good enough. It's, wow, look at Platinum dropping Sizer. It's like jumping all the way in there. Great play. You do not want to get picked off, and him going behind is going to slow down so much of that momentum from LG. Clockwork is finally on Platinum, although Platinum is still alive. Just uh, immune to damage, and Clockwork almost goes down. But that push is completely stuffed by Platinum. Just kind of jump around shenanigans, Sigma. Um, um, a little play there, um, definitely not in the stats, but that saved them a lot of time. Yeah, that was well done. I, th I thought for sure that LG was going to cap mid there with that 5v2 advantage, but they had to go back to deal with Platinum. And with that kill onto a scout, uh, they couldn't really move forward too easily because they lost that big cap power. So now we're reset again. I don't think LG can move off this small advantage. So oh, no. what? It's another mix-up hold of mid. What are no. they going to do now? Okay, they've done... They did spy briefly, but they didn't use it. They've done pyro, they've done heavy. Maybe some engineer sniper. play coming up next? Sniper? I don't know how well Sniper would play. Uh, I'm thinking they're just going to push and not give us any more stalemate. I hope so. Uh, no, but, I mean, it's 4-4. This is such a huge map. You don't want to go down, especially um, mix-up needing to win two best of threes. Um, I don't know if pushing in recklessly is going to happen, although we may want to see it, Greg. Uh, we're probably going to see more of the same. Enigma you doing something. Apparently there's only like six or seven minutes left in the half, so Mixup definitely need to do something. They can't just sit here and let this go. happen as they Uber in the top left, straight in with Platt. Platt's going to force as much multiing as possible out of Shade, but Moose goes down in the back of that, and now KBK is kind of caught out with a bit of low HP, but no, he does manage to get out. Great timing there from Platt and KBK getting out, but only a scout down. Can LG push it this time? I don't think they can. It seems like they're a little slow, Sigma. LG probably could have pushed there, but now that Moose is up, it's going to be more of the same, and it's just not good to fight where they're standing. Bombs can come in and take your medic's life in a blink of an eye, so they're going to back right back up to where they were. They feel safe in here, <laughs> in their little home, and they don't want to leave, but... Uh... Yeah, it's a, it's a nerve-wracking situation for them getting pushed again and again like this when it's 4-4, but I mean, it's it's so difficult is to push sniping, off of Yeah. So difficult to push off of a scope pick, and yeah, Moose Sniper is going to be the next off-classing option after Enigma's attempts. Haven't managed to break two so far. He's a shot, but doesn't manage to snag Banny there, so now LG is aware there's a Sniper. Are they going to go super man mode and push out? I doubt it. That's, that's a scary decision, but yeah. we'll have to see how Moose opts to find an angle here. Looks like he's just going to watch Cliff, and that's going to give Mix-Up Combo a lot of room to move in, because nobody can peek that door to spam them. Yeah, that first shot by Moose was crucial, but uh, he missed it on Banny. Um, now, what he's doing, yeah, basically, like you said, is providing sightline for his team, just pushing him back. Look at the difference. They're able to get in and force an Uber. Look at Platinum. He loves this. That 2v1 Uber. Uh, Shade has to multi. He does well. And uh, actually, they end up kind of uh, leapfrogging Platinum there, so he gets behind him. And he's actually kind of in a bad spot, Platinum. Lance, he's already gone down, and there goes Platinum. Tyrone with a big double. And make it three onto Smack, and LG suddenly on the horsies. And the, the sniper, not so good of a choice now. He's going to get destroyed. There goes KBK. We're talking about a team ace. Huge play. The, Greg, the patience from LG. They were holding and holding and holding, and then they just snapped their neck, and they're going to be able to take oh. at least two. Ben kills Platt on the spawn camp. Also wow. forces Lansky to back spawn, so that's going to make an, a super easy two cap for LG here. Look at the Uber advantage too, Sigma. I mean, it's yeah, huge. Yeah, it's huge. They just need to not drop their scouts or something like they have on so many of the last pushes, and then they can do it. We could see an end to Wormfront. I don't know. Well, they're going to go right now. Both scouts coming in on the far right. Let's see if Smack can reach out and touch both of them. I don't know. They're going to have to stay close so Shake and Multi. It's in. They're focusing the heavy. He's down. Enigma is down. So uh, uh, one down, though. Sizer does go, and the Uber is out. Going to be a chance here. Yeah, much of a chance. Three are going to go down. My god, there's still a scout behind the point. Shade is still up. Clockwork has got one. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got the point. Clockwork wow. wins the map for him. Huge play. How did he do it, Greg? Oh my god. And LG at the very end. That push looks like it was completely stuffed, but clockwork and company win it, so LG.
Go. Take warm front five to four, Greg. Yeah, that was absolutely insane from LG holding on to that second point for so long. Mix up kind of pressured by the time, forced in. LG wiped them, push it all the way back, and then it was looked like they weren't going to cap that last point at all. And Ooh. right at the end, Clockwork and Shade. Shade did an excellent job. He absorbed two rockets, so Clockwork didn't take either of those damage as well, or either of those rocket damage at all. And brilliant, brilliant end to the map. And I'd like to say 5-4. Who predicted that? Boy, Greg, you're pretty good at this. You should do it for a living or more I and mean, full time. You're, oh, yeah. Okay, so we uh, forgot what I predicted. I think I said LG five to three. So I wasn't that far off. I don't know, Sigma. You were you were just flat wrong, were you? But yeah, well, that's that's what's come to be expected. I think I'm gonna shatter this crystal ball and <laughs> maybe melt down the shards and reform it because in its current what stat. A game, though. There yeah. was some a little more stalemating that we'd like to see and a little more computer crashing than I'd like to see. But uh, in the end, what a great match between those two teams. It seems like, we said it yesterday, when these teams meet, they just play well. And uh, give us really just an unbelievable show. But in the end, Platinum made that one big mistake, got trapped in that second point, couldn't escape while he was Ubered, got destroyed. And when Platinum went down, the rest of the team, with that sniper, they just didn't have the fragging power to, to keep um, LG back. LG just destroyed them and won the game right at that two play. I mean, that two win and Banny's resulting spawn camp of Platinum, that was where the round was won. Oh yeah, and also Clockwork going absolutely huge at last. So that match really had it all and uh, with individual beasting and everything. So uh, really fun to stuff.